what is a landing gear of an aircraft? Have you ever wondered or asked yourself this question? What is a landing gear? Or have you ever had this question being asked somewhere? In this video today, we look at what is a landing gear of an aircraft. We look at the definition, we look at the function, we look at the types of landing gear, and we look at the arrangements of landing gears that can be found in the aircraft. Welcome. The landing gear is in the carriage of an aircraft or a spacecraft. The landing gear's main purpose is to support the entire weight of the aircraft to enable takeoff and landing and for ground operation or mobility of the aircraft for those aircraft that operate on ground. During takeoff, a spacecraft doesn't use a landing gear, but for landing purposes, the spacecraft uses landing gears for landing. For those aircraft that operate on water, floats are used for the purpose of taking off and landing. The landing gear includes the shock absorber, the wheels of the aircraft, the floats for those aircraft that land on water, the skis for those aircraft that land on snow, and skids for helicopters. The landing gear on some aircraft can be fixed, and on some aircraft, the landing gear is retracted. For fixed aircraft, the landing gear remains fixed during the entire flight, but for the retractable gear, once the aircraft gets airborne, the landing gear are retracted. And this is mostly used on those aircraft that fly at high speeds. This uh, enables the drag reduction and uh, we enables less consumption of fuel compared to the fuel that will be consumed if the aircraft will fly the gears extended the entire flight. Some aircrafts have a combination of two types of landing gear to enable operation either on dry ground or on water. These are called amphibious aircraft. You can have an aircraft that has floats for landing on water and wheels, retractable wheels, to enable landing on dry ground. You can also have an aircraft that has wheels for landing on dry ground and skis to enable landing on snow. The main landing gears are those landing gears that are found near the center of gravity of the aircraft. Uh, the nose gear or the tail gear or the outrigger gear are called auxiliary landing gears. On those aircrafts that have wheels, we have three types of landing gear configuration. We have one, the conventional type uh, landing gear configuration, which is the tail wheel type configuration. Secondly, we have the tandem type landing gear configuration. And thirdly, we have the tricycle landing gear configuration. For the conventional type landing gear configuration, it is found on most small aircrafts. We have two main landing gears in front of the center of gravity that supports the weight of the aircraft and one auxiliary landing gear that supports the weight of the tail of the aircraft. On this type of aircraft, steering is achieved through differential braking and in some cases, uh, the steering of the tail wheel through the connection between the tail wheel and the rudder. For the tandem wheel type of aircraft, the wheels are installed along the longitudinal axis of the aircraft, that is from the nose to the tail of the aircraft. When landing gear is near the nose of the aircraft, and one landing gear is near the tail of the aircraft. To support the weight of the wings, these aircrafts are fitted with an outrigger landing gears or auxiliary landing gears underneath the wings to support the weight of the wings. This configuration is found mostly on uh, sailplanes, and uh, on uh, military bomber aircrafts. Finally, we have uh, a tricycle type, which is the most common type of landing gear arrangement that is found on most aircraft. This one, uh, we have a nose gear that enables uh, the support of the weight of the aircraft in front and the main landing gears aft of the uh, center of gravity to support most weight of the aircraft. 
In this picture here, we see an example of a tricycle aircraft. We see the nose wheel here in front of the aircraft, and we have two main gears uh, just near the center of gravity of the aircraft to support most of the weight of the aircraft. On some aircraft, like the Boeing 747, we have uh, four main landing gears. This is just to spread the weight of the aircraft because, as you know, this is a large aircraft with a lot of weight. So to spread the weight of the aircraft, this aircraft is fitted with four main landing gears. We have two gears that support the weight of the wings and we have two body gears that support the weight of the, of the body of the aircraft that are fitted just underneath the fuselage near the center of gravity of the aircraft. There are some aircraft that the nose is not steerable, but on most aircraft, the nose is steerable, either through a direct linkage from the nose gear to the rudder, and on large aircraft, through hydraulic system that is used to steer the nose of the aircraft by use of a tiller that is provided in the flight deck for steering purposes. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you have any question regarding landing gears, you can post it in the comment below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel. And you can also turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified every time we post anything. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.